Dentists in many cities are helping to bring the benefits of fluoridation to children. Now, our children can have better health through fluoridated water. They can drink away tomorrow's tooth decay. Think fluoride is good for you? Think again. That's old news. I'm Dr. Griffin Cole. I'm a dentist and a member of the IOMT, and I'm here to tell you that a lot has changed since the 1940s when fluoride was first introduced for dental cavities. First of all, its use was questioned at that time and before adequate research was conducted and its safety and effectiveness proven, it was added to the water supplies. In the decades that followed, it was added to numerous other products that many people use every day. What this means is people are repeatedly exposed to fluoride through their water, food, and daily routines. Let's look at the dental products you use at home that contain fluoride. Toothpaste, which can result in a higher exposure level if it is accidentally swallowed, floss, and mouthwash. Plus, for over 66% of Americans, fluoride is also in the water supply. And then, to add to that, you might not even be aware of products at the dental office that can contain fluoride. Profi paste, used during teeth cleanings at the dental office, can contain over 20 times more fluoride than toothpaste sold directly to consumers. As another example, fluoride varnish treatments also contain high concentrations of fluoride. Additional fluoride dangers from exceeding safe exposure levels can come from dental filling materials. Many of the options contain fluoride, including all glass ionomer cements, all resin modified glass ionomer cements, all GMRs, all polyacid modified composites, also called compromers, certain types of composites, and certain types of dental mercury amalgams. Some of these materials continually release fluoride over time and even recharge to intensify that release rate. Fluoride containing cements are also sometimes used in orthodontic band cements. And a new treatment called silver diamine fluoride can permanently stain teeth black even after a single application. Do you really think you need all this fluoride? You don't. Fluoride is not essential for human growth and development. In fact, it is not required for any physiological process in the human body. Consequently, no one will suffer from a lack of fluoride. But exposure to fluoride can cause dental fluorosis, which the Centers for Disease Control has acknowledged is impacting millions of American adults and children. Fluoride has been scientifically linked to lower IQs and developmental neurotoxicity in humans. It has been studied for its effect on nearly every part of the human body and can impact each person differently based on individualized risk factors. So read the labels on your dental products and ask your dentist which items contain fluoride. Protect your health and remember, given the elevated number of fluoride sources and the increased rates of fluoride intake in the American population, which have risen substantially since water fluoridation began in the 1940s, it has become a necessity to reduce and work toward eliminating avoidable sources of fluoride exposure, including dental products.